And so there is only the question of the house. 6,000 square feet north of Sunset in Beverly Hills. Your Honor, my client does not wish to contest ownership of the property. Thank you, Miss Gage. But I want her to have it. I don't need it, Sam. I redesigned that entire place for you. You did the renovations for us, Sam. I don't understand. I, are you saying I can't give my wife her dream house? Ex-wife. You don't get to decide for me anymore. I don't want to get in another argument. I just... I just want her to have it. It's not even finished. Well, I'll finish it. Legally, your client is entitled to half of the property. I don't want to sell it to some stranger. I want her... to have it. Very well. What you do with it is your decision. Do you have the paperwork? You know, he was ready to give you just about anything you wanted, right? I'm just happy that it's over. I'm good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll catch up. Yeah. Um, for what it's worth, I just want you to be happy. I am. Sam, for the first time in a long time, there's no one telling me what to do. How to spend my money. What I can and can't eat. Finally, I'm able to make my own decisions. And you know what? It feels really good. Oh, and um, thank you for the house. I'll think of you when I sell it. You have no idea how good I was for you. How hard I've worked to make sure that you were okay. That you were protected. Right. But see, that's just the thing. Who was going to protect me from you? Don't say that. I love you. It doesn't even matter anymore because you've got your new job in Chicago and I've got my new life here. Well, at least let me help you find someone to finish the house. Believe it or not, I am capable of doing some things on my own. No. No, scratch that. I'm capable of doing everything on my own. I worked so hard on that house. Please, don't sell it. Goodbye, Sam. Julie. Julie, please. He's seeing you. So, I talked to my friend in real estate about the house. And? And the good news is that for a house like that, in that part of Beverly Hills, you're looking at four to five million. Why do I have a feeling there's some bad news in there? Because it needs to be finished. <sighs> I was afraid of that. Yeah. Look, it's a buyer's market. So to get anything close to fair value, she said the best thing to do is hold off, 
fix it and wait for things to rebound. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful house and I do love it. It's just that it's a reminder of a life I'm trying to leave behind. I know, I know. But look on the bright side. In six to 12 months, you can probably afford to buy pretty much any house you want. And who knows, you might not want to sell it. You know, you could fall in love with a place. I doubt it. Hey, everything's loaded onto the truck. Okay. Hey, what do you want me to do with the architect desk? Drop it off at Goodwill. <sighs> Thank you. Rid of you. Where do you want me to put this one? Uh, kitchen would be great, thank you. Okay. Now, as your counsel, and more importantly, as your best friend, I'm not letting you sell this place. You don't think it's too much? Oh, it's too much. It's definitely too much, but that's a good thing. Come on, I'll give you the tour. And this is the master bedroom. Yeah, it's the master suite. More like it. Huh. Mm-hmm. Deluxe spa, jacuzzi bath, custom tile and shower. His and hers vanity is very romantic. Not from where I'm standing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. It's fine, come on. Might be enough room for your shoes in here. This house has tons of storage. I'm jealous. Very jealous. <laughs> a wiring issue. I'll take your word for it. Haven't been in there yet. Oh, that's right. You're claustrophobic. It's not claustrophobia. I just, you know. Don't like small places, that's all. Oh, you know what they call that? Hmm. Claustrophobia. Ha ha, very funny. Okay. Putting it on this damn list. Light switch in closet. Done. All right. Let me show you the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you for coming over, Ellie. I wasn't gonna let you move on your own. How's everything at the magazine? Actually, I'm taking a break. Really? Yes. I mean, after what happened with Sam, I just feel like I need to focus on what I want. Besides, I, I feel like maybe I could paint again. Good for you. Here's to new beginnings, new adventures. I'll drink to that. You sure you don't want me to spend the night? Oh, please. I've been on my own now for over six whole months. Okay. And there's no hot water. Really? Gas hasn't been turned on yet. Oh, well, if you get lonely, I'm a phone call away. Okay? Okay. Love you. Love you, too.
Drinking juice in the bed again. How many times do I have to tell you? You disgust me. I better get cleaned up. Here's my favorite freelance contributor. So, when am I getting my invite to this big housewarming party? <laughs> Let me get settled in first before you start calling the caterers. I just want an excuse to call you. So, when are you coming back to work? I'm taking a break. Remember? Yeah. How's that going for you? It's going great. Oh. Uh, hey, can you come in Monday morning? There's something I want to talk to you about. Rick, do I need to have one of your proofreaders look up the meaning of the word sabbatical? You miss me. Admit it. Rick. I miss you. All right. You have one hour, okay? Great. I only need one hour. Right. I'll see you then. Nothing. 
That ain't good. It could be a stuffed owl. This ain't rats. I thought I looked and I didn't see you coming. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. I don't. I'm Julie Holt, and let me give you my insurance information. Tyler Jordan. Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm not gonna take it. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'm not hurt. Fine. Okay. But Julie Holt, why does that name sound familiar? I don't know. Uh, uh you're a writer, author. You, um... Oh, you wrote the book, uh, 100 Fascinating Artists. 101, and yeah. you read that? I looked at the pictures. Well, <laughs> I usually just write for magazine articles, that sort of thing. Yeah, I write too. You do? No. Handyman. Handyman, really? Yeah. Why, do you know someone who needs something? Well, I actually need one. Um, okay. my ex-husband did a renovation on a house that just moved in. Right, and you got divorced before it was actually finished? Mm-hmm. Yeah classic uh yeah i can um i gotta remodel in culver city i gotta finish up a couple odds and ends i'll be done that tomorrow and then i could stop by your place uh i don't know i'll say three yeah sure. okay um, great yeah that's here great see you tomorrow okay and i'm so sorry about the accident don't worry about it everything happens for a reason right
sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I I was I just thought I heard something down here. Oh, what was it? Water heater, but it's okay now. Great. We did say three, right? Yeah, I guess I just lost track at the time. Yeah, no problem. Wanna get started? Sure. How'd you get in? No, uh, the front door is wide open. Ugh, figures. First thing on the list? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I actually drove by this house a couple months ago when they were working on it. That was your husband, right? Ex-husband. It's strange, you know. This was supposed to be our house. Now it's just your house. You're not sure you need the daily reminder. You must be psychic. Been there, done that. High school sweetheart, thought it was gonna last forever. Divorced by 25. You got a list of things you want uh, me to take a look at? As so long as your arm. Ready for the tour? Yeah, let's get started. Yeah, doesn't look like the wiring was quite finished. Oh, I don't know why. Seems a little odd. Okay, so assuming you address everything on the list, how much am I looking at? <sighs> Well, some of the stuff, like doors, baseboards, cupboards, it's just cosmetic stuff. It's pretty simple. It's the wiring, the plumbing, the flooring, the tile work. It's gonna take a little longer. Ballpark? Uh, I mean, it's about three weeks of labor, parts material. I'd say you're looking at about 45 or 50. Thousand? And I want to take a look inside the walls and at some other things before I can commit to that, yeah. I need to think about it. It's a lot of money. Yeah, no, well, let me do this. Let me come up with a budget that's a little more specific. And then me and you can go over that and we'll find something you're comfortable with. Deal? Deal. Good. Now, for the most important question. Yes? Do you like dogs? I'm sorry? Dogs. Do you like them? Yeah, I guess so. Good, because Barney likes to come with me on all my jobs. Barney is more than welcome. Perfect. So I'll see you first thing in the morning. She found someone to help me finish it. Oh, really? Who? Sam. I just want to make sure that you're not going to get ripped off. There's a lot of bad guys out there, Julie. This can be his name. I'll check him out. Don't you have a project in Chicago to think about? You don't have to worry about me. I will be fine. Is he licensed? I told you. Stop it. So look, everything's going good here. We finally got approval and we're gonna break ground next week. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Actually, I was in the middle of making dinner when you called. I miss you, Julie. I just wanna make sure that you're okay. Sam. You don't miss me? At all? Look, maybe one day you and I can be friends. But right now, I need space, okay? Okay. I promise I'll let you know how the repairs go. Sure. Bye.
I understand how important independence is to you. Well, there's a little more to it than that, Rick. Well, I've got a magazine to run. And when I think about which writer I'd like to offer an editorial staff position to, I think about you. I'm flattered. Full time, full benefits, the works. I've loved writing for you guys, and an editorial position is tempting, but the timing's not right. After all the hell I've been through, I need a means of expressing myself. That's what attracted me to art in the first place. I want to practice it, not just write about it. Okay, fine. Do what you gotta do. But once you get it out of your system, I want you to know something. You'll always have a place here. That's very generous of you, Rick. I'll think about it. Will you also think about dinner tonight? I would love to, but I have a lot to do right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. You got one month to think about the job. You're on. No promises, though. I read your review in the latest issue. The one about the show, the university. The annual student art exhibit. That's right. You wrote about my work. It wasn't very positive. I'm sorry, um, but I wrote about a lot of people. You weren't very nice. Look, if you're going to offer up your work for criticism, you have to accept the good with the bad. You're not always going to hear what you want. That's good advice. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm creating. Great. Maybe your next showing will be more encouraging. I'll try. Good luck. I see you met our new intern. What? New intern? He walked in about a week ago and volunteered to work for free. He giving you trouble? I can tell Rick. Oh, no. It's okay. Really. Um, anyway, it was good seeing you, Chris. Good seeing you, too. Bye. Beverly Hills Art Review. This is Chris. Hello? Hello. I'm just calling to see how you're doing, because I've been cooped up in my office all day, and I need to live vicariously through somebody. Well, Rick called me in for a meeting. And? And they want me back full time as an editor. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. Keep your pants on. I haven't accepted yet. What's the problem? I don't know. I mean, ever since the divorce, Rick's been a little too friendly. Well, then maybe you need to tell him to keep his pants on. But I think you should take the job. Maybe. How's the house? Better. I hired someone to help with the repair. Oh, is he cute? Allison! What's his name? Where'd you meet him? His name is Tyler, and I kind of sort of backed my car into him at the store. Right, so you invited a complete stranger who you hit with your car to work on your house. Um, yes. Oh, he must be a total hottie. Come on. And you're lucky he doesn't hold a garage. When does he start? Today. Well, in that case, I expect a full report tonight. Or better still, tomorrow morning. You're terrible. Go back to work. <laughs> See ya. Bye. How'd the meeting go? Good. You went good. Um, look, I totally appreciate everything you're doing around here, but would you mind being just a little bit more careful? What are you talking about? I just noticed some broken flower pots out by the front steps. 
We haven't been by the front steps today. Well, someone has, because I just put them out there yesterday. Barney, did you knock over this nice lady's flowers? I mean, come on. I mean, we could break out the lie detector, but I, I mean, I think he's telling the truth. Very cute. Yeah, uh, seriously, I don't know what happened to your flowers, but I promise we'll be careful. Okay, yeah, so I'll just be in the studio if you need me. Yeah, you got it. Hey. Sorry. Hope you don't mind, I grabbed a glass of water. You scared me. Sorry. How's the masterpiece coming? Oh, uh, it's getting started. Yeah, but it takes a little time for the creative juices to start flowing. Yeah. I mean, when I get stuck or need a little inspiration, I just listen to Mozart. Mozart? Classical music. Scientifically proven that it stimulates creative expression. I thought it was baby development. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now, shall we? Good luck. Claustrophobic. I'm not claustrophobic. You were working on the switch in here. You're telling me you didn't notice that? Oh, sure I did. But it wasn't on the list. I thought there was bigger things to take care of. I understand. So what is it? That? That's just some sort of access to the roof. You mean an attic? Probably not a functional attic. More of an open-air space above the ceiling. Do you have the blueprints? Mm-hmm. Some always kept them at the office. Well, you should have got them when you got ownership of the house. 
I mean, I can knock it through for you. Wouldn't take much. Sure. Why not? All right. Yeah, I'll bring my Dremel tool tomorrow and we'll see what's up there. Oh, hey. Did you try the Mozart? Excuse me? The Mozart. No. All I had was Chopin. <laughs> Did it help? We'll see. All right. Yeah, you're going to get your inspiration somewhere. You hungry? Excuse me? Hungry. You've been working in here all day. I'm assuming even workaholics have to eat every now and then. I have been known to eat something from time to time. Great. I know a place, small plates, great view. Oh, but, you know, what about Barney? Barney, oh, he's more of a steak and potatoes kind of guy. Yeah, not his scene. He'll just stay here, watch the house. I got five-year-old crusty work boots on. I stink. You got five different shades of paint. It's not a date, if that's what you were worried about. Well, you know, just so we're clear. All right, uh, I'll clean the truck and we'll go. All right, Barney, come on. Grandmother, it's a little pendant, Amber. I haven't. Why? Um, uh, never mind. Let's go. All right. Hey. You're a good boy, all right? I'll be in the house. <laughs> Bye now. How are things going? It's great. It's like I finally moved on with my life and everything's falling into place. So when are you thinking about going back to your day job? Maybe never. Wow. I gotta say, I've met a lot of people in my 12 years here. I think you might be one of the most down-to-earth ones I've ever met. So why'd you leave them? Well, let's see. I put myself through college, working nights and weekends. I earned my BFA in three years. I had a job, a great life. And then I married Sam. What happened? Nothing at first, but little by little, it started to creep in. He said he wanted to take care of me, that I didn't really have to work, that I was wasting my time. Next thing you know, the career I spent five years building was now a hobby. Hmm. You didn't support your choices. I didn't have choices. Sam, he wanted to control everything. Who I went, who I went with. I come home after a hard day at work, and this is how I find the apartment! And I have to apologize. Just for being myself. For not being the perfect wife. It was always about him. It's over now. Is it? Though, I mean, the house. He wanted me to have it. He insisted on it. So, you know, I took it. And here I am, still living the life he wanted for me. It's just the house, Julie. But it was his choice. His designs, his hands that crafted it. Okay. Let's say there is no house. Mm. You get divorced, you're on your own. Where would you have gone? I'd get a nice condo overlooking the water. It's funny you should say that. I got a place on the water.
When you said your place was on the water, I didn't know you literally meant on the water. <laughs> right here. Home sweet home. Permission to come aboard? Permission granted. Thank you. Uh, back there. Yeah. I love it. Air is always clean. Smell the water. When the weather's right, you can go out to Catalina or down to San Diego. There she is. How was the run? Exhausting. Oh, um, did you happen to bring that tool you needed to break open the ceiling? I forgot. I'll bring it tomorrow. Sorry. Did you find your necklace? No, not yet. I'm sure it'll turn up. I'll keep an eye out for it when I'm moving stuff around. Okay. Um, gonna go take a shower. that gauge myself yesterday. Somebody's turned it up. Who? I mean, the thermostat could just be broken. No, it looks like more than that. Well, this thing might have just come loose. Right? Where the hell did that thing go? That answers that. I suppose. Oh, let me just put this back on there. I'll get the parts. I'll replace it tomorrow. Just to be safe. You okay? Yeah, I am fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me see. Come on. That looks pretty red. Let's put something on it's it. It's really not that bad. Come on. Let's put it's... something on it. It'll feel better. It'll feel better. Take care of it. You feel a little better? It does, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Gentle. Barney! It's my friend, Allison. Do you mind? Oh, uh, no. Not at all. Thank you. Sorry, don't mind him. Just all bark. Hi. Hey. Uh, Hi. I'm Tyler. Allison, I've heard a lot about you. Oh, good. I hope. Mostly. <laughs> Fair enough. I see you two have met. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Allison and I are gonna go grab a bite. All right. Have fun. I'll keep working. Okay. It was nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. 
Come on, Bart. Go. But you knew the house had issues, right? That's why he's there. No, I know. But I mean, lately, it's been more than just that. The broken flower pots, the missing necklace, the water heater. You think Tyler stole your necklace? I don't know, but I mean, it's completely vanished, and he's the only other person there. Jules, you don't think you're being just a little bit paranoid? I don't know, maybe. Hmm. You know what I think. Hmm. I think you met someone you're starting to like, and you're reading something into everything. Yeah. He's handy, he's charming, he's insanely good looking. Could you do me a favor? Sure. Could you run him through your system? You want me to run a background check on Tyler? Yeah, you know, just to, like, see if he has anything in his history. If I do it, do you promise me you'll relax? Mm. Okay. What is it? What's the matter? Excuse me. What's your problem, lady? I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. Clearly. I thought you said he was in Chicago. He said he got the deal when he called me the other night. He said they'd just gotten the approval that they'd be breaking ground next week. I don't know, maybe, maybe with everything that's going on, Maybe it's just in my head. What if it's not in your head? What if he is here? You okay being alone tonight? Oh, I'm fine. I mean, I can stay. I'll just camp out in the guest room. I'm fine, really. At least let Barney hang out with you. He makes a pretty decent watchdog. It'll make me feel better knowing you're safe. Okay, sure. Thank you. <sighs> Did you actually see anyone in the house? Not exactly, no. I heard footsteps, and when I entered the studio, the back door was open. And you're sure you didn't leave it open? Yes, Detective, I am sure I didn't leave the door open. I'm just saying, maybe you thought you closed the door, and you didn't. No, it had a problem staying latched, but they fixed it. Who fixed it? Tyler Jordan. He's my contractor. We'll need his information. Look! Someone was in my house. I know it. Is there anything unaccounted for? I don't think so. Well, I am actually missing a necklace. Anything? No sign of forced entry. We can check these for prints, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Whoever did this, they have to be pretty stupid to leave a print on these, but they're all we've got. We'll be in touch. That's it? 
You're not gonna do something? We made a report. What else would you like us to do? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. Look, Miss Holt, this is a big house. You're all alone in it. Maybe you should think about staying with a friend. Anyone you can call? I think so. Good. Just to be safe. If anything happens, call me. Okay. Let's go. Good night, Miss Holt. calling from the Department of Buildings. I've been reviewing your recent permits, and I have a few follow-up questions for Mr. Manning. Would you like me to connect you? Actually, I think it'd be better if I stop by in person. Um, I have the South Lakeshore Drive address. Will he be there later today? He should be. Shall I set up a time? Ma'am? Hello, this is Sam. Can I help you? Rick Davenport, please. It's uh, Julie Holt. Julie Holt on line one. Hey, hon, what's up? You change your mind again? No, um, when I was in there the other day, I ran into one of your new interns. He was like a college kid, kind of an attitude problem. Yeah, I heard about that. Can you tell me his name? Uh, Jim something. Well, it doesn't matter. He's gone now. Wait, what do you mean, gone? You... Didn't let him go on my account, did you? I didn't have to. He never came back from lunch that day. I see. Listen, I gotta go. I'm headed out to Palm Springs for a few days. A few days off in the middle of a week? That doesn't sound like you. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, just need to get a breather for a few days out of town. That's it. Listen, my cell phone's on if you need me, okay? Um, all right. Have fun. I plan to. Thank you. See ya. Clark Investigations. Hey, Mr. Cia Tallison. Oh, hey, I just left you a voicemail. Yeah, I just got out of court. Did you finish that background check I asked for? Sure did. I sent you everything in an email. Can you check and make sure you got it? Yeah, hold on a sec. Yep, I got it. Your pal. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Jules, it's me. Look, I need to talk to you. I'm forwarding you an email that I need you to read. I'm gonna try your landline. Hi, this is Julie. You know the routine. Jules, I just found out something you're not gonna like. I need to talk to you ASAP. I'm gonna get my car. I'm coming to your house right now. Ju 
Julie. Detective, any updates on the break-in? I'm actually here to talk to you about another matter. Okay. Can we go inside? You may need to sit down. We found her body in her car about a half a mile from here, in an empty parking lot. Her last three calls were to you. It seems she was on her way here. Do you know who did it? You tell me. Who had reason to kill your friend? No. I promise you, we're gonna do everything we can to find who did this. But if you know anything, you have to tell us. Hey, Jules, it's me. Look, I need to talk to you. I'm forwarding you an email that I need you to read. I'm gonna try your landline. Julie. Something wrong? You sound upset. Allison's dead. Wait, are, are you serious? Yes. Where were you last night? I tried to call you. I fell asleep watching TV. <laughs> watching TV. Yeah, why? Someone was in my house last night. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Thank God I had Barney. Uh. I mean, do you think it was Sam? I did. Until I confirmed that he's 2,000 miles away. Wait, you don't think I had... No, no. No, of course not. I just... Julie, I don't like you being alone right now. I know. Can I come over? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, call me when you get here. I'll meet you at the dock gate. I'd like you to come back to the station to answer some questions. Julie, what is this? I'm sorry, Tyler. Am I under arrest? That depends on what you have to say. About what? Allison Gage, for one. Alice? Julie, come on. You Honestly, you can't think I had anything to do with that. I don't know. But apparently there's a lot of things I don't know. What are you talking about? That's not what... What's the deal, Tyler? Did he hire you to keep an eye on me? To be with me? No. 
I'm a contractor, Julie. I work a dozen jobs a year. This wasn't even one of his projects. He was visiting the site because he knew the client. I hadn't met him before or since, and I had no idea who was your ex-husband until I came to your house. And Allison just happened to get murdered when she tried to tell me this. Mr. Jordan, I think we should finish this conversation somewhere else. Come on, let's go. Julie, you gotta believe me. I have nothing to do with it. You're making a big mistake. found these in your house? That's just the tip of the iceberg. They were in every room. Were they connected to some kind of transmitter? I don't know. Did you see who was watching you? No, but I think I have a pretty good idea who it was. I mean, he's been watching me sleep, watching me eat, in the shower. We found this in the glove compartment of Tyler Jordan's truck. Is that the necklace you're missing? We're running Jordan's alibi now. It better be a good one. We'll send someone from Digital Forensics over to your house and see if they can trace where the signals were going, but this sort of thing is only a misdemeanor, and we don't even know if these cameras were active. So if it really wasn't hooked up to anything, well... What about murder? Is that a misdemeanor, too? If those cameras were transmitting, they might reveal who's been in your house and who killed your friend. In the meantime, I'm putting an officer outside of your home. If anything happens, I call him directly. Okay?
long as you need to. You tell me when you've had available at the moment, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Any luck on the unit? He's not responding to his radio or the phone. He hasn't checked in. What do you got? Well, Tyler's alibi is sticking. He was making a gas purchase in the Palisades at the time of Allison Gage's murder. And he has witnesses placing him at the Marina Grill the night she says someone was in her living room. I mean, I think Tyler Jordan's off the hook unless you want to hold him over the necklace we found in his truck. No. I think I'm going to take a little ride to her place and see why our man has suddenly gone so quiet. He better not be sleeping. What about Tyler? Something tells me you should let him go. Get him a ride home, okay? All right.
Sam Manning's office. Hi, I'm um, calling from the Department of Buildings. And I have a few follow-up questions for Mr. Manning. Hello, this is Sam. Can I help you?
loved me. All I ever wanted to do was protect you! Keep you safe from other men! But you don't deserve it. You're just a trap! Julie! I'm a boyfriend. Let her go, man. I'm sorry, but this is between me and my wife. Howdy, neighbor. Hey, how's the new place? Great. I just unpacked my last box, so I guess I'm officially moved in. All right. Grab that. Thank you. Watch your step. <laughs> you miss the house? No. <laughs> I think my new beachfront condo will do just fine. If I have any problems, I know a very good handyman. Lucky you. Luck had nothing to do with it. Anyway, it's, it's a beautiful day. Thought you might like to take a girl for a cruise. Oh, really? Where would this girl like to go? Uh, Catalina, San Diego, Low Deck. You're gonna let me see your masterpiece. What part of Low Deck do you understand? 